Ten minutes to go until 7 o'clock here this Monday in your Smart Start. Our top stories, we start inside the huddle. The Bills coming off that huge win against the Miami Dolphins, squishing the fish Sunday at home 48-20. to Headed into this season, there was so much speculation that maybe Buffalo's dominance in the division in the AFC East may be over, and Miami was up next as number one. That conversation is cooled now for a bit. The Bills stars came to play. Josh Allen with more touchdowns than incompletions. Stefan Diggs found the end zone three times for a hat trick. Unfortunate news, though, for the Bills. Cornerback Tredavious White suffered an Achilles injury. Could be done for the season less than two years after tearing an ACL. The Bills head across the pond Sunday. It's technically a home game in London next week versus the Jaguars. A man has been arrested in connection to a Saturday morning homicide here in Rochester. Police say 26-year-old Eric Leslie shot Vernal Rose in the back of the head as Rose turned to walk away from him. That was at the intersection of Pennsylvania Avenue and North Goodman Street. The victim was 31. RPD says it's still unclear what the motive is for the shooting. Police found Leslie later in the day in a car which they say was leaving the scene of the murder. Leslie faces multiple charges including murder second degree. Police are investigating after finding a woman shot dead in Gates. They located 47-year-old Jessica Romick's body in the parking lot on Pixley Industrial Parkway. That was around 5 Saturday morning. Very few details have been announced surrounding her death, but officers say if you have any leads that can help, please call 911. To this ongoing search for a missing 9-year-old girl in Saratoga County, Charlotte Cena disappeared in Moreau Lake State Park. She was camping with her family when she went for a bike ride Saturday night, never made it back. An Amber Alert was issued Sunday morning after an exhaustive search for hours at the park. Police do believe she's in danger and was abducted. They have found her bike. Charlotte's aunt spoke on behalf of the family, saying they are all praying for the safe return of the girl. No tip is insignificant. So if anyone has any information at all, um, saw anything in the vicinity of the entrance to the Moreau Lake State Park or are camping here and have any information at all. She's all of our daughters. Their family needs love. They need prayers. Cena is four foot six, 90 pounds, green eyes, long, dirty blonde hair, and her photos there on your screen and on our website. And when she disappeared, she was wearing a tie-dye Pokemon shirt, dark blue pants, black Crocs, and a gray bike helmet. Happening later on this morning, the trial of Kelvin Vickers is scheduled to continue. Vickers is accused of killing three men in July 2022, including RPD officer Anthony Mazurkowitz. The trial was supposed to resume Friday, but was suddenly adjourned. The DA says that was due to unforeseen circumstances. More testimony scheduled there for 930. Also in court today for trial, William Shanahan, who was driving when four people were thrown out of his vehicle on the state thruway a few years ago. Authorities say Shanahan ran off the shoulder, overcorrected, and crossed into the wrong lanes. This was in Henrietta on 90 in 2021 between exits 46 and 47. That day, Dustin Jones was killed. Shanahan faces numerous charges, including vehicular homicide. Sunrise traffic here at 653. New reports of a crash in Rondecoit at Titus Avenue between Oak View Drive and Kings Highway. Another one out in the Webster Pinfield area, Jackson Road between Northrop and Plank Roads. We'll check your Monday morning commute again as the expressways are okay coming up at about 725. Later today, former President Donald Trump will attend at least the first day of the civil trial, pitting him and his company up against New York, the state, and Attorney General Tish James. Prosecutors are seeking damages running up to $250 million and to prevent Trump and his sons from running a business again in the state. CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson says while the financial impact could be significant, there's likely no impact on Trump's presidential run. It is absolutely possible that at the end of this trial, it will be devastating for the Trump businesses. There's very little possibility that this could affect the president's reelection chances. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of honor. The judge has indicated this trial in New York City could take months. A day after Congress scrambled to pass a last-minute short-term spending bill preventing a government shutdown for a few weeks, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is on the hot seat within his own party. The short-term measure keeps the government funded until November 17th and includes $16 billion in disaster relief aid for, but aid for Ukraine was dropped from the final measure. With the shutdown crisis over, conservative Florida Congressman Matt Gates is leading a charge to oust Speaker McCarthy. I 
do intend to file a motion to vacate against Speaker McCarthy this week. I think we need to move on with new leadership that can be trustworthy. I'll survive. You know, this is personal with Matt. Bring it on. Let's get over with it and let's start governing. Uh, with Republicans having a narrow majority in the House chamber, Gates needs some votes from Dems in order to remove McCarthy from that role. For the fourth time in the history of the game, the Powerball prize has topped a billion dollars after no winning ticket for the jackpot was sold for Saturday's drawing. Tonight, the players have another shot at the top prize, estimated at $1.04 billion. The cash option there, roughly $478 million, and your odds of hitting that about one in 292 million or so there. But we've seen it. It yeah. seems like bees picking up every few months as it rolls over. Last time someone hit this was uh, one winner in California. One winner. Yep. I just want it on the record that earlier Brennan said to me that if he wins, he's going to give me $50. $50. $50 of the 487 on million. Record. There you, know. you go. We'll take out your taxes. He's you'll, a real, he's you'll a get real 30, genuine $30 guy here. after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Check of the weather here. Really, this week is just the golden boy of the year. Look at this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All in the 80s. There, and then reality settles back in as we head towards Friday. I have an odd feeling that we're probably going to hit that 75 real early in the day there as we head towards Friday, and then we'll start to cool things off. You can see those 50s making a return. You could even take our lows from early this week and set them as our highs later yeah. on. So it's going to be one of those bigger changes as we get into the next few days. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it and keep you updated. All right. Thank you, Liam, and thank you for watching Sunrise here this Monday morning. CBS Mornings coming your way next. On RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.